Hello everyone, and I have a special treat for you. Uh, I am in Orlando, and I am at the Central Florida Interna International Car Show uh, for 2013. Uh, here you get to see a bunch of the, the new manufacturers, uh, or well, manufacturers that bring out their new cars, and you get to sit in them and hang out, and uh, some of the dealers will let you ride in them and take them for a test drive, so um, they have a indoor course uh, for like Jeep and stuff like that and then they have an outdoor course for um, pretty much uh, like everything else they've got Toyota, Dodge, uh, GM, everything they've got so many cars out there so uh, I'm gonna take you along with me and we're gonna look at some cars and just kind of browse around and then we'll head out so I'll see you in a few bye we're right, about to go in we got this cool little line I gotta check in. Well, here we go. So this is awesome. You get to sit in the cars, see all the new ones that are coming out, and outside a little bit later we'll go and uh, we'll test drive some of the cars. Here's another Stingray. I had uh, I saw one in the parking lot uh, the other day at uh, BJ's. Here's a, another one in person. Very nice. Obviously you can't get inside of it, but... This is what I'm interested in. Big old truck. I can't wait. Like, I would love to have a truck so bad. They are extremely expensive. Like this one right here is... Yeah, that's right. $50,000. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one has a... Sometimes you can turn the radio on. Let's see if we can find it. No. Oh, there we go. Good sound system on too. AC, heated, cool seats. Parking distance. Very nice, sunroof. Love it. I wouldn't do that color though. I probably did it silver or something. Okay, keep browsing. It's kind of a lot of them that I don't really care about. Like over there, they've got Buick right over there, but no, not a Buick fan. There's all the Buicks right here. Walking into Mazda, the new stuff. Ryan, this is what you need to look at. This is the CX-7. No, I'm sorry, CX-9. Very nice. Roomy. Or either one of these, which is one of my favorites. The CX-5, this thing, so much fun and It'll get up and go, and gets great gas mileage. I might be able to test drive one of these a little bit later. Push button start. I know the sound system's good on this because I test drove it last year, and it was pretty awesome. Anyways, it's the Mazda dealer. It's the CX-5, that's what uh, that's what you need to get Ryan. And this is what I need to get. This uh, little monster convertible. Man, these things are nice. I love those things. I'm gonna go head over to Lexus now because these are some of the nicest redesigned cars I've ever seen. The new IS 350 and 250. They just look out of this world. Let's look at, take a look, a look around. 
somebody's in it right now, but when they get out, I'll, I'll hop in. This thing is just so nice, and I love that color too. You got the front end. I think this has got the ISF package on it. It's got the meter grill and more fine lines and whatnot. So it's nice. I'm going to uh, entice these people to get the hell out of the car, so I'm gonna hop in the back seat. Yep, it worked. They got out. <laughs> so you got this one's got power on it, so you can do. Uh, Stereo is not really that good, to be honest with you. Let's see if it'll start up. It's not gonna obviously start the engine, but you can test out little things like the uh, um, test out the stereo stuff. But this thing's got so many buttons on it. Oh my goodness! Oh, somebody turned on the uh, cooled seats. Feels so nice. Oh my goodness. Got your sport buttons down here. Oh, so nice. There we go. Got this little mouse thing. Oh, lost it again. Yes. It's not working. But man, this is so nice. I love one of these things. It's really like sporty, low down. So, anyways, okay, we're gonna turn it off now. Move on. This is another one that I'd love to have, but I think I can find a sticker on this thing. I'm not sure. I don't think I saw it. Not on this one, but this one's got a sticker. It's the new GS. It's got a mean grill and everything, too. Um, yeah, 50, 53. But you get, like, top end, like, everything in here. I mean, just look at the... Look at the brushed aluminum. I mean, this is just in the clock. I mean, this thing is so nice. I love the color of the seats. I'm just a four door person, I guess. I guess that's why. I like the cheesy so much. Look at him. Such a nice car. I think this one right here is just the plain ISF 350, maybe 250. Still, I mean, this thing looks really good. I mean, you've got you've got uh, the main stuff. I don't know. This is I'm sorry. This is a GS because it's got the big screen, but still really, really nice. And uh, let's see how much this one is. This one's a little bit cheaper, but 47,000. Not too bad. Here's another favorite, it's the Acuras. Um, they, they can use a redesign, refreshed, like really soon. There's a couple of them that's been refreshed a little bit, but they're just kind of overpriced for really what they are, honestly. I mean, I don't know. It's just my opinion, though. Don't like the color of this one. Let's see what we got in here. It's not too bad. Can't really do much. Anyways, still a nice little thing. It's pretty nice. Got some room in the back. Yeah, not a fan of the color, but. Got some space in it, it's not too bad. Oh, I like this. My mom's got this. Maybe lazy, maybe a great idea. I don't know. Yeah. There's Kia. No bother. No worry. No need to uh, bother myself going over there. <laughs> here's another, here's the Cadillacs. Like, honestly, these things have been like. Refreshed and they look amazing. I mean, they're just incredible. 
and they're actually not too bad of a price either for being a Cadillac. But this one's forty thousand dollars and is like maxed out with everything. Of course, you got your Escalade. Let's hop in one of these. See if I can look at it. Now that's where the money's at right there. That's the uh, Cadillac CTSV. It's a beautiful car. We'll get to that in a second. Let's just jump in the caddy real quick. Uh, you got the board that comes out when you open the door. This is cool. It's just like an overpriced Tahoe is really all it is. Let's see if we can sneak into the CTSV. This is the CTS Coupe. I like the Coupe, it looks cool. But I would definitely get the four door version if I got one. Let's take a look at it. Mean little car. How much is this one? 65,000. This specs kind of clears. I'd still do the four-door version if I had it, if I, could, I had my choice. But it's got the same engine as a Corvette ZR1, which is supercharged and V8, obviously. This one's really nicely equipped. They have the AC on on this. It's pretty neat. For being a Cadillac, they're coming along, and I am really loving these things. I mean, they're starting to look really, really good. But, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe one day. You gotta push button to get out. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have we can go take a look at? Um, there's Hondas. This is... Alright, Ryan. This is the Cross Tour. Honestly, looks like a dog taking a poo, but anyways. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad for price to the 31, but you can get a, one of those SUVs over there for about that price, if not a little bit more, and you got more features on it. Yeah, it's just plain, like this is like, it's not it's like shiny wood. I mean, it's not even really that high quality, but I mean, it is Honda, so I mean, what can you really expect like, from them, I guess? And this horrible thing, this SI, they ruined it for the 2012 2013, however long they're gonna keep it. Because what they did was they put the um, Honda Accord engine in it, and it doesn't, I mean, it pulls a little bit, but the bit the thing about the SI is that people love it for high revving, you can hear the VTEC kick in, everything's very, you know, just like, it's, it's very sporty, but this thing is obviously, I mean, carbon fiber dash, just chrome everywhere, I mean, it's, it's not a bad interior, but I just, I'm so upset about the, the motor, I mean, that's, that's my biggest thing, is the motor in this thing is horrible. But anyways, um, I digress. We're gonna show these videos real quick. These are some of some people, their personal cars they bring in. Some of them are like, like high in exotics and stuff. So, but other ones are just like just plain out cool. I mean, like, this is a. It looks like the Rhino Liner paint on it on this Wrangler. No doors, big fat tires. I love it. It's got leather seats in there. Nice upgraded stereo. And we've got a nice, not actually really nicely modded out uh, Ford Mustang. Very nice looking. I love the colors. Oh yeah, there's a, a big ass Bel Air here. And pink. That's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Alright, moving on here we got the uh we got a Viper. 
It's just a viper, it's not that big of a deal. But anyways, some people think I like it. They like it, but... Anyways, on to much nicer things. How about the uh, Ferrari California? Not too bad, eh? This thing is so beautiful. I love one. Actually, no, honestly, I, I really wouldn't love to own a Ferrari. I would love to just test drive it. It just looks awesome. This one looks like they got new wheels and uh, a couple little modifications done to it, but it's still nice. Not too bad. And now we're gonna get to the big bad daddy. The Lamborghini Aventador. It's the first time I've ever seen one of these in person, up close. Just look at it, oh my goodness. Huge intakes, huge wheels and tires. So we can get a close up of the dash in here. It's kind of dark, you can't see. So nice. And we've got the, the motor back here, V12. Got the same push rod suspension as like a Formula One car would have. Oh, beautiful car. Uh, let's see, we got Cyan right up here. I would kind of consider dangerous like the smart cars. It's just the Cyan IQ. A little itty bitty little thing. This thing actually, what's funny about it is the back end is so small. If like you get rear-ended, there's actually an airbag that comes over the top. That, see right there? It's an airbag that pops out to feed the people. That's the back seat. That is the truck. Literally, there is no space in this thing. It's the new Scion TC. I had used to have a TC. It was fun, but um, I kind of wore it out because I, I drove the crap out of it. But it's not too bad. Still got the orange gauges. I, I don't like orange gauges. I just I don't know why. I've never been a fan of orange gauges. But, nice sound system, looks like. Lots of good stuff. That was one thing I did have, it had a rocking sound system. But these are made to be for like, people that tune cars and whatnot, so it, it obviously it would be. Ha, snacks and goodies. <laughs> All right, now we got Toyota, and I love Toyotas. It's a new Highlander that they have. At J Cruiser. This thing is really nice. I really like it. I drove one once over like this uh, track they had here one year. But the only thing is, is it's very like, I don't know, they, at least the, the roof is matching on this one. But they don't have a sunroof. Like, you cannot get this thing with a sunroof. But it is really nice. I mean, for off road utilitarianism or whatever you want to call it, it's really nice. For just the bare basics, four-wheel drive. This is, this is made to go off-road. Um, they got like like there's carpet in this one, but normally there's not carpet, so you can uh, you can hose it out if you need to. Just pretty neat. See, got the Forerunner. This is my favorite. Um, actually, I think the, the limited version is going to be the one that I would get if I. Uh, ever wreck my car or whatever. I have so many decisions here. I say, I want this one, I want that one, I want this one, I want that one. But if I got a toy edit, this would be what it would be. Because it is, oh, nice. Okay, it's got a push button, so let's see if it works. Oh, key not detected. But it's still not bad, it's leather seats. Um, it's got heated and cooled seats on this one. Um, very nice. Sunroof, of course. Nice size back seat, trunk area, memory seats. Let's see if I can find how much this thing costs. Oh, so starting at 32. I'm sure this is like this is 50. Yeah, but love it, love it, love it, love it. 
so you got the you can roll down the back window on this. It's pretty cool. This one's got the third row. Oh, can't see. It's got the third row seating option, which is kind of nice. Got your cheap, cheap ones. Actually, honestly, the uh, the new Corolla is actually not half bad. If I may be so bold as to say so. It's kind of sporty, nice looking. Starts at 16. This one looks like it's got leather seats in it. Well, half leather. Very nicely out dash. Like to see the vents. They almost look like the Lexus back there. They're really stepping up the game. This is one of the the redesigned ones. So I don't know. Maybe hopefully they'll all start coming out like that. Cause that looks pretty nice. Let's go check out the Camry because the Camry is supposed to be pretty new. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, here's one. Here's a new Corolla or Camry. I'm sorry. So it's got the sport package on it. Not too bad. It's got a nice, nice little brush aluminum look up here. The uh, kind of soft touch dashes. It's actually not too bad. Toyota is really coming along with their. Uh, um, upgrading what they have, uh, like the interiors and stuff of the cars, it used to be so boring, but now that they're starting to come along now. Um, let's see what else we can look at. Uh, oh yeah, here's another one that I would love to have. Tundra. Let's see if they have one with four doors. Yes, that one's not bad. This one's even better. The platinum. Actually, this isn't limited, but I love the four doors. Four doors is amazing. Got a new functional hood scoop here. Which is, they don't tell you the prices on these things because they're outrageous. But, oh, look at this thing. Oh, hang on. I can't get in. Alright, there we go. I'm in. Still, not too bad. Kind of, I mean, obviously truckish. You know, you've got some beefy pieces in here, but still, I mean, not a bad cabin overall. I'm gonna get in the back and we'll see, we'll see how much space is in the back. It is the huge four-door one with a short bed. I don't know if you can see that. Look at all the space. Holy cow, look at all the space there. That's insane. You definitely need a something to prop yourself up to get in here, but yeah. Not too bad. I mean, look at the leg room. See? Holy cow. That's, that's insane. And the door's so soft, I just ex I just barely touched it and closed. It's the Venza. It's what my mom has. She loves it. I love it too, actually. It's very nice. Um, Sequoia is another nice one, but those things are outrageously expensive. So, let's see. Let me go find some more stuff and I'll come back. There's a couple more Fords down here. This is the only one that I would honestly kind of be even remotely considered is this one. It's the, the Raptor. This thing's pretty awesome. It's built to be like fast and like very like off-roady. You can I mean, lots of people just beat the crap out of this thing and it takes it. But it's actually really nice. The interior, so this, this is pretty nice too. This is the four door version. They have only two door and four door. Still tons of room back there. Really nice. Short bed. Pretty cool. We got the Fiat. This is their brand new in the crossover vehicle. It's actually bigger in person than I thought it was. I think I've never seen it in person, but it's actually kind of nice. I wouldn't ever buy one, I don't think, but still not bad. It's a lot of room.
roomier than what the 500 is, which is right here. This is the Abarth version, which is the souped up one. But look how much smaller this one is. Oh, this is the convertible one too. I mean, you were like packed into this thing. Ugh. But still not too bad. Very small back seat, as you can see. But. And then we come to the Jeep. This is what I was looking for. Yeah. I love the regular Unlimited. The two door one's nice, but the Unlimited one's way better. Because you get, obviously, more space to put people in and stuff. I don't like these wheels. They're coming out with these wheels. I'm not a fan. The Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Oh, this thing is beautiful. I love the new Grand Cherokees. Oh, can you get that? Just kidding. It's locked, but it's really nice. Nice big, big wheels, Brembo brakes. Um, it's the Cherokee. I'm not a fan of that one. It's the one that they showed me a second ago. I'm just not a fan of it. I mean, it's got weird looking headlights and. It's front wheel drive. I mean, it's not it's not a Jeep in my opinion. It's the uh, it's Grand Cherokee, this one. So let's go to this one because people are looking at it. But this is the new diesel version, which they're starting to bring to America, which is awesome. It was actually pretty decent too. Um, let's take a look at this one right here. I don't like the color, but one of my friends had one of these, and oh, I was just in love with it. Look at, look at that. Let's see. Oh, had a push button, nothing works. But it's not too bad. It's really nice. I love the interior. That nice, nice wood. It's got a nice sound system in it, you can tell. This one obviously is going to be extremely expensive. Um, let's see where else we're going to look at. Dodge Drango. Those are okay, but it's just a copy of the Grand Cherokee. Like almost exactly, and you know, I don't, I don't know. It's a little bit longer, but I don't like it. Um, oh look, there's a new Viper. Let's go take a look at the new Viper. Not too bad. Here's a couple other ones. Uh, some of the California. These are probably actually from Ferrari themselves. Is that FF? Was it FF? Yeah, 458 Italiana. That's a nice color. Looks good in white. Maserati. Maserati, another Maserati. This is nice. I love those flat black wheels. The other one. So, let's see. Um, I see Subaru over here. Let's go over to Subaru. Alright, Ryan, this is for you. Uh, this is the. It's a hybrid. Cross Trek. Hideous color. Let's go on the inside and see. The interior. Yeah. 
just very plain. And that's what these things are. They're just very simple, very plain. Not too bad. But still, I mean, there's just hardly anything in here. Let's see what the back's like. Not too bad. space. This is the smaller one of the the bunch. It's the, uh, it's the STI. Um, what is this? Is this another? What is this? Oh, here's your Forester. Okay, here we go. Here's the Forester. I don't know, kind of compare it to the Crossroad would have held thing is over there. It's not too bad. I think this is the brand spanking new model because that model right there is the older model. Um, let's see. Again, yeah, it's just very, very plain. Nothing special about it. Just like the other one. And I don't know, let's see how much this one costs. Inside just about every vehicle on the road, you'll find either an inline engine or a space engine. These engines have this one. Alright, this has got. This one is running at 34.61. So. And it's just got the. Package on there, that's about it. Don't do it. There's another one. I think this is the uh, Forester, maybe? Uh, what was I just looking at? Alright, this is the Forester. There's the Outback. It's even bigger. Um, yeah, just look at it. It's just, they're, very, they're all the same, very plain. That's just tacky. No. No. So just say no. I don't know. Not my car, your car, but I'm just trying to give you some, uh, some of what it looks like and uh, price-wise, interior kind of thing. It's not a fan. Sorry, the camera shut off. Just trying to get the picture. Um, yeah, 29.5. It's got just the moonroof. Uh, horrible transmission. Yeah. I don't know. Again, my personal opinion, but I'd say no. But anyways, all right. Moving on. You can finally take a look at the Wrangler now because this guy was not all over it. His wheels have got to go. Holy cow. What is up with that scoop on the hood, seriously? It's not too bad. It's got the, had the top off this one. Looks like a decent stereo, full drive. It's not too bad. Space in the back. This is the hard top. When I have the soft top, that's easier to open and close, but. Yeah. I don't know. It's a Jeep. They're overpriced and. I don't know. To each their own. Speaking of that, they have the. Uh, this is where they're doing testing with the. Uh, Jeeps. I'm surprised they're doing this inside, uh, but you get to take a Jeep and see the guy up there. He's driving up this huge hill. I don't know how long, how long the line is. I might 
fine up, but we'll see. Alright, I'll check back in. Uh, so this kind of sucks, you don't even get to drive it, you have to, you're a passenger. I'm not gonna go through this and just be a passenger, forget that. Wait in that long ass line. Basically, it's just, you know, what you look at. It, it, it's something that you can go to uh, without being hassled by dealers and all that stuff, so it's a, little, it's a lot nicer. But uh, we'll take a look at a couple other ones and then I'll probably head out. Uh, one more thing I have to show you they have uh, in uh, Orlando here, we have uh, Titan Motorsports. And they have the baddest Supra in the world. And they have it here for show. They have, they've beaten many, many drag records. With a turbo that size, you could probably suck a baby into it. But look at this thing, this thing's beautiful. It's the first time I've ever seen it up close in person. I've seen it before, but very nice. And they say imports are slow. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at the Camaro real quick. It's really nice, supercharged SS version V8. It's not that bad, this is the redesigned version. The odometer is way better. Got a screen now, gauges. Much, much. Much nicer than the last generation. So, I think they, uh, they're coming along. This is the Camaro ZL1. This has got the same motor as the uh, Corvette ZR1. It's beautiful. Let's take a look at the motor. Supercharged LSA motor. Beautiful. Love it. And it's convertible. And yellow, which I don't mind. Yellow flashing. It's another, uh, I can't really see it, but it's another Stingray. This is the Target Top one. I don't want to get it with my bad knees. Yeah. Functioning vents. Functioning vents to come down over the uh, the rear tires to pull the brakes down. Nice. I love it. Oh, and there you have it. That is the 2013 Central Florida International Car Show. Um, it's pretty cool. I love coming here every year. You get some cool stuff free stuff and uh, lots of cool cars you can sit in and, and stuff. We'll head outside for a second. I want to see if uh, um, we can take a look at uh, I want to take a look at and see if, what kind of cars they have that we can drive. Um, normally it's just Toyotas and like Mazda stuff like that which I drove last year but I think I saw a new one that I want to try out. 
So we're gonna run out there real quick, see how bad the traffic or the uh, the people are, and uh, go from there. So I'll see you then. So out here we have uh, where you can test drive cars and stuff. We got Nissan, Chrysler, Kia. Over there we got Toyota and someplace else. Somebody else. I forgot who it is. Mazda. That's who it is. Mazda. And they have a little course that's set up that you can go and uh, ride the cars around, or actually drive these, and get some information and stuff on them. So it's kind of neat. Um, they're just a little windy. But honestly, I've driven all these. I'm not really that interested in driving another one. So, uh, and plus, it, it'd be hard to film and drive at the same time. So, uh, yep. This is it. This is the end. Well, I am done heading back home. I got to drive. I drove actually a few more than I thought it was. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I drove the Mazda 6, the new one. And it is really nicely put together. Like when I had my Mazda, it really wasn't that great. great but uh, they have come a long way. I mean, that's what I keep saying. Like all the people with interiors, that they have just come so far. And, and making them look so good. Um, I drove, uh, what's that? Oh, the uh, drove Tundra, and which has a great turning radius for being such a big truck, and the uh, Camry V6. I love it, and I don't know. I told them to contact me, and we'll talk about numbers and whatnot to get, you know, for my car, but I don't know where my car is right now. But, anyways, we'll see. But I, um, Anyways, again, I hope everyone had a great time, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.